I um I went to Hawaii for spring break this year and it was amazing. It was really awesome. I was uh was sitting on the beach in Hawaii and I was getting really high, looking out over the beautiful Pacific Ocean, you know, waves lapping up on the beach and these very like existential sort of deep questions kept coming to me, just things that have no answer. Questions like, how do mermaids give birth, you know? <laughs> half fish, half mammal. They like squirt out a sack of mermaid eggs, then a merman comes around and just jerks off all over them. <laughs> and then some mer babies spawn out of the, in the blue water, or do, or do they give live birth? Then they feed their young by lactating milk out of their pores. Which is actually how marine mammals feed their young. <laughs> Comedy can be educational. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and so I smoked more weed. <laughs> and the answer came to me. C section. <laughs> Those of you who got that was like a laugh then a groan. You're right. You're right on both counts. As a, a popsicle stick joke for adults. I asked my brother what jokes I should tell tonight, and he was like, not that one. <laughs> Fuck you. What do you know? <laughs> I'm married up in the world. My wife is very, very gorgeous. She's much better looking than me. Uh, but it's wasted on me because she's 22 and I'm 26 and I'm really more into like 57 year olds. That's kind of my thing, like, you know, milks. And so essentially at this point my wife is just, she's just a treasury bond. But I have invested in and waiting for it to mature. My wife gave me a haircut the other day because I'm a cheap bastard. I didn't want to pay $15 to get a haircut, so I had her cut my hair. And you learn a lot about your spouse when you put that much trust in them. For instance, I learned that my wife apparently suffers from cerebral palsy. <laughs> Did not know this. The amount I'm gonna have to pay to fix what is going on under this hat is gonna be more than $15, I'll tell you what. Real patchy. Never felt so alopecia-y in my life. <laughs> um, you guys do the drugs? <laughs> Do the drugs. You ever been afraid to do drugs? Like you're like, hello mescaline. What are you gonna do to my brain? But then you just like, you get over it, right? You're a drug warrior and so you just pop it back anyway. And it's always great. It's always, it's never been bad. It's been bad for moments, you know? There have been times where maybe you felt like your flesh was rolling off of your body. <laughs> But then there's like, there's always the, in the circle of drug doing friends, there's always the one, the one person who is afraid to do the drugs. So instead of just pushing through it, they make up some bullshit excuse. They're like, sorry, I'm allergic to marijuana. <laughs> I don't think that's a real thing. <laughs> or this is my favorite one is, uh, they'll be like, eh, I tried it a few times. Didn't really do anything to me. Really, you're the one? <laughs> After ancient decades, centuries and centuries of people taking mushrooms and having spiritual experiences, it's your he-man biology that is conquering the psilocybin, <laughs> flushing it straight through? I don't fucking think so. Fuck that guy. Take the drugs. Drugs, you pussy. <laughs> Speaking of drugs, I live by a trailer park. <laughs> it's not, I don't live in a trailer park. It's, it's, it's trailer park adjacent. But it's fun because I get 
a little window into the lives of the trailer park people. <laughs> it's really, really harrowing sometimes. The other day I drove by and there's this little, little five-year-old boy. He had his shirt off and there's just Kool-Aid stains. It's down his distended little belly. Oh God. <laughs> Solving world hunger, Nathan Hall's cause. <laughs> There, I need to get away from it. So this little five-year-old boy, he had in his hand he had a, a rusty car antenna that he probably found under one of the trailers. And on the ground there was just like this dirty old cinder block. And he was just whipping it. He was just whipping it. Whipping it. And just taking out all of his aggression on this fucking cinder block! There are tears just streaming down his face and he is grinding his teeth. And you can tell so much about that little boy's home life based on that scene. For instance, you know that his family does not own a dog. It's <laughs> horrific. <laughs> I saw a pregnant woman smoking at the trailer park the other day. That's some trashy shit. <laughs> you see people like driving in their car and they're smoking, and they have kids in the back, you're like, you motherfucker. <laughs> and then if the windows are rolled up, that's like 10 times worse. You're like, you want to like run them off the road. And then just to see this woman just hotboxing her own uterus, <laughs> nicotine, carcinogenic fucking shit. I just wanted to roll down my window and just grab a wire coat hanger and throw it out. Uh, <laughs> get it over with. What are you? I almost stopped and said something, but then the image occurred to me of like a year after that child is born, she's going to feed it. It's, it's in its little high chair. And she goes, here comes the airplane. Oh, you missed your plane. <laughs> 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 so retarded. <laughs> 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 the YN system putting that tag in the show every single time. I don't like it. I had a friend recently, he uh, he lost a foot to diabetes. <clears throat> You're right, there's nothing funny about that. Moving on. No. <laughs> and he was really bummed out. And so, in an effort to cheer him up, a misguided effort, I should say, to cheer him up, I reminded him that now he does have twice as many socks. <laughs> Don't think about that joke too hard. You'll realize he has just as many socks. <laughs> I didn't have a better way to phrase it. I like to get um, I like to get really high at my house, but it's freaky because I live I live on this like residential street that's really busy. And there's a speed bump right in front of my house. There's nothing that freaks you out more than just sitting in your living room, being baked out of your mind, and every single car that drives by just goes. Shoo. <laughs> What? Is there a swastika painted on my driveway? <laughs> I um, I used to really enjoy doing mushrooms. This is a drug heavy set, you guys. <laughs> mostly, mostly drug talk tonight. <laughs> um, I used to really enjoy uh, on days like today. You know, there's like really bluebird days going out to KK Park and just taking a shit ton of mushrooms. <laughs> the, like, the amount of mushrooms that three people should responsibly take. <laughs> and then I would just take off all my clothes, just run through the woods, freaking out hikers with their kids. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Um, 
Sometimes I'd be sitting in like a birch forest with all those black and white trees and then see an army of Dalmatians run through. Where's the, where's the fire? <laughs> One day I was out there at and I was sitting on the bluff. I was looking out over the inlet and there's that, uh, that set of mountains over there, the Sleeping Lady. You guys know what I'm talking about? <clears throat> so you sit now. It's a woman laying in repose. She has these big, fulsome mountain breasts. <laughs> these wide, childbearing mountain hips. And that mountain is really doing it for me. <laughs> I decided, in the heat of the moment, I'm gonna jerk off of that mountain. <laughs> I did. I jerked off to a mountain on mushrooms. It didn't take very long. It's like 30 seconds. But there's that last like seven seconds where you know that you're gonna come. You're savoring every single stroke. I was in that red zone. And the sleeping lady started to get a boner. <laughs> I had a quick decision to make. I finished. Jerked off to a man mountain. The story doesn't stop there because after I came, and as I was watching my jizz dry in the leaves, rays of sunshine sparkling off of it. <laughs> All of a sudden, psilocybin paranoia washed over me. I thought, but what if there's a jogger in the park today and she gets abducted, rape murdered, and her body gets dumped right next to my jeans. <laughs> the cops come with their CSI black lights. My DNA is found on the scene. A few months later, I'm sitting in a prison cell, explaining to my cellmate that I'm only there. I jerked off to a man mountain on mushrooms. <laughs> Bad news. Okay, I'm gonna leave you guys with this joke. I found the most interesting book I've ever seen the other day. It was entitled, Celeste Runs with Molest, and other things to remember when naming your child. <laughs> I agree, <laughs> but it does rhyme with molest. I wish my parents would have read that book, because then my name wouldn't be Tucker. <laughs> Statutory great <grade> Campbell. <laughs> Thank you guys, good night. That was delightful. Thanks so much.